Hi, uh, my name is Haruka Nakao, uh, Associate Senior Engineer of Japan Mandu Space Systems Corporation. I explain about a trial of STPSEC using Stride Guide Word for human control system. Thank you. This is the summary of my presentation. The cyber security attacks through tablet controller threaten the flight operation of airplanes. SPSEC is used as a risk assessment to identify cybersecurity threats. This presentation shows an example of identification of cybersecurity risk from human control aircraft system. STPSEC system theoretic process analysis for security is described as a risk assessment method in DO356A and ED203A, awareness security method and consideration. This presentation explains detailed steps to apply STPSEC with Stride Guide Words. Stride is a model of threats used to help reason and define threats to a system. This also presents risk assessment, which assess how safety requirements, such as design constraints, mitigate cybersecurity risk. This is the sequence of my presentation. First, I explain STPA SEC procedure and stride guide words. Second, human control system by smartphone explained. Third, I explain threat scenario identification. Fourth, I explain cybersecurity risk assessment. Finally, I explain findings and benefit. The firstly, I explain STPA procedure. STPA procedure is a system theory process analysis security. STPSEC is method of systems theoretic process accident model and process stamp. STPSEC is presented as means of compliance activity in Appendix G of DO356A and ED203A. STPSEC use a top-down approach to use system engineering and control theory foundations to identify type of unsecure control and identify cause of unsecure control and to eliminate or to control them. This chart shows the STPASIC procedure uh, as an input, uh, aircraft system architecture and security scope is uh, inputted to the threat condition identification. This is the first step of STPSEC. The next step, step two, is threat scenario identification. Then, the, from the system aspect, security measure characterization are considered as in the threat scenario identification. Then the risk assessment of threat was performed. After that, the risk identified is acceptable or not is considered. Then I explain the stride guide word. Stride is a model of threats developed at Microsoft for identifying computer security threats. It provides mnemonic security threat in six categories as follows. Spoofing, tempering, repudiation, information disclosure, denial of service, evaluation of privilege. And then I explained the human control system by smartphone 
I picked up as an example of automatic system operation scenario. The scenario is as follow. The first remote operator prepares to decelerate the flying vehicle in the top of climb. Second, remote operator starts automatic deceleration function by pushing deceleration start button on the smartphone screen. Third, flying vehicle mode is changed to decelerate to descend the flying vehicle. Fourth, when the flying vehicle reaches to the bottom of flight, the mode operator changes the flying vehicle's mode to level flight. This is the threat scenario identification. This table explains the work steps and the definition and identification of each steps. First step is identify security goal. We said the security goal is to provide secure control capability of the flight operation of the vehicle. Then the security scope is identified as a red hashed colored box. This is include aircraft and human. And operator is outside of the security scope. The operator is not flying in the aircraft. This is a remote control command, commanding and gets the feedback of the aircraft. Then the next step, threat condition identification. The, the small table uh, shows the actions of the operator and the feedback from the aircraft. The STPA guideword was used uh, provide, not provide, too late, too early, in long order. Um, these guidewords are used to identify the threat condition. So identified threat condition is uh, such as uh, provide start command in the no abnormal condition or not provide the start command when it is needed. And start command is too late or start command continue too long. Then the, for the feedback, the provide feedback, it is not needed and provide not provide feedback if in, it is needed. Feedback is long order, that feedback is too short. And from each threat condition, threat scenario is identified. In this identification, that this control loop is used to identify the threat scenario. This control loop shows the controller, and controller commands, and that the interpreter. The control process is commanded, then control process by the feedback. This box shows the stride guidewise identification, S-T-R-I-D-E. This guidewise is used to identify the threat scenario, threat causal factor to make threat scenario. So sometimes command is the elevation of privilege uh, occur and wrong command is proposed, provided, or that the information disclosure occur that, that flow provided from the control process. Sometimes tempering of feedback is threatened the controller and other systems tempering the, the controller. Such kind of threat scenario can be identified by using this 
chart. Then cyber security risk assessment can be performed. The, I took a case study as follow, as a simple example. Threat is unauthorized update in is added in the software of flying vehicle by a smartphone. The aircraft is controlled by them remotely. Identified threat condition is unexpected the maintenance operation in the, the flight operation. Then the, from this identified threat condition, that threat scenario is identified like in completion of the command verify operation during the maintenance operation. So that disk scenario, a uh, threat scenario is ac acceptable or not is questioned. That, and also that the security measure characterization is considered for the disk acceptance. That, for example, the command encryption or Azure qualification, temper detection is implemented in that uh, vehicle. This can be uh, mitigate that just this threat scenario. This is active, acceptable or not. So cyber attack while a flying vehicle is in the transient state during mode transition. This is, can be that the security hole during the operation. That, that the STPA SEC uh, is very powerful uh, to identify such transient state security threat during mode, mode transition or such, for, for example. So maybe this, that the identified risk, it cannot be uh, acceptable, then investigate that safety constraint to mitigate this identified risk. Maybe it can, it should be hardware mitigation because that software can be transient from the, the precondition to the post condition. Such a uh, threat, uh, such model, con model transition should be considered if to think about that to set the safety constraint in a design. Okay, so this is, I summarize the finding and the benefit. Cybersecurity risk assessment can be done by STPSEC combined with ST Stride GuideWord. STPSEC can find disk of remote attack which aim to the transient state of onboard controller. Stride guide word is useful to identify threat scenarios in the steps of STPA threat scenario identification. Disk assessment from STPA SEC notify a necessary identification or addition of safety constraint to the aircraft system. This approach can apply to other mobility systems such as drones or flying cars. That's all my presentation. Thank you for the, for listening.